you are all welcome to Drishti IS. I hope you are all doing well. So my name is Samradhi and today what I am going to tell you, I am going to tell you about the Drishti IS new initiative and the name of the initiative is AWAKE. So what AWAKE is about? So let us first understand what is the full form of the AWAKE. So the full form of the AWAKE is answer writing and knowledge enrichment. So answer writing, if you know that these days students are witnessing a lot of problems when it comes to writing a good quality of answer. So through this program, we will help the students to build a very good answer. So we will also tell you how you can structure your answer. And we will also provide you some important topics which can be asked in the examination. So before starting or before letting me know that what all is there, so let us first talk about the course. So talking about the course, so what are the key features? So this course will be accessed through online platform and with the help of Drishti IS learning app, you can access this course. Around 60 plus classes will be provided and you can watch those classes as many times as you want. So here as I told you, our focus will be on what? On enriching the quality of your answers. So we will tell you the uh, important topics or the probable topics and what type of questions can be framed from those topics, right? And then we will also tell you that, okay, these are the problems, you know, that the students generally witness while writing the answers. So we will try to analyze all the issues and then what we will have, we will have an interactive session with you as well. So this course is a live course which will be available to you through the Drishti IS app. So along with that, we are providing you two things. That is what? That is a free mains capsule book series and another one is a free UPSC previous year main salt paper and the beauty of this course is that you can access the classes as many times as you want. So let us do one thing, let us do a small practice over here. I have picked one question for you and that question is linked to what Starlink. You all must be having an idea of about what is Starlink. So here the question is, Starlink will change the internet connectivity. Starlink will change the internet connectivity. You have to discuss that what is the utility of the project in bringing the remote connectivity. So how you can address this question? So first talking about that what will be our approach while writing the answer to this question. So you should start with what? You should start with what is project Starlink? So this will be your introduction part. In introduction, you will mention about what is Starlink. Right? So what is Starlink if I ask you? Any idea about it? So, Starlink is what? Starlink is a SpaceX project. Starlink is what? It is related to SpaceX. This everyone know, right? Elon Musk, the man, yeah, you know. Everyone of you must be having an idea about that, that man. So, basically, Starlink is a project of the SpaceX. In which, what they said that what we will do, we will build the satellites and through those satellites, we will do what? We will do remote sensing. So basically Starlink will carry what they will carry certain type of thrusters with it and they will carry some crypto, uh, krypton gases and all and they will be placed where all the satellites which are there in the Starlink project they will be placed in the LEO orbit. In which orbit they will be placed? They will be placed in the LEO orbit. Clear? So this is about what? This is about what is Starlink. Right. So first you should mention about what that what is Starlink. So you can you have give a brief introduction about what is uh, you know projectors of SpaceX and what exactly this project is. Right. It's a broadband network project in which what they will do they will place a spacecrafts and those spacecrafts they will be orbiting around the Earth in the low Earth orbit. Broadband project. Clear enough now. Talking about the next body part. 
So in the body, what you will mention about? They have clearly asked you that what is the utility of this project in bringing the remote connectivity? So how you can uh, you know do the remote connectivity with the help of such type of project? So you need to tell about the utility of the project. So what is the utility of this project? So here what the Elon Musk you know said, Elon Musk said that we will do what? We will provide you a cluster of satellites and because of those cluster of satellites, what will be there that the latency rate will be very low. Means the response time will be very low. So don't you think that you don't need to respond, you will just type something and you will get the response. Isn't it good? As soon as they will receive the data, they will respond accordingly. Right? Why? Because they are placed where? The satellites are placed in the LEU. When the satellites are placed nearby to the earth, they will provide what? They will provide stronger signals and of course faster speed. So this is the first thing. Second thing if I talk about utilities coverage. How many of you have witnessed this problem that you go somewhere and you don't find a network over? I think many of you. So here what they said, that there will be no coverage issue. Even in the difficult charan also, you can access the remote connectivity. There also these projects will work because what it will do, it will cover the entire earth. It will cover what? It will cover the entire earth. Am I clear enough? So when it will cover the entire earth, so definitely you can see that what will be there, you will achieve a better rate. You will achieve a better coverage. And the most important thing is that the easier connectivity. Easier connectivity. So easier connectivity means what? Since the satellite, they are placed in LEO, so they will appear to be stationary. So it is easier to link them. So connectivity is what? Connectivity is easy. Getting this point? So these are the three utilities of this project. Lower latency, then comes as a coverage and then comes as a easier connectivity. But do they offer all the utilities or there are some issues with it? Definitely there are some issues associated with it. So when you talk about the issues, what all are the issues? Of course, it is going to increase what? It is going to increase the space debris. It is going to increase the space debris and you all know that space debris is the biggest issue which we are witnessing these days. And you must have heard about the Kessler syndrome. What does the Kessler syndrome talks about? That if this type of, you know, advancement will keep on going, then there will be a time that it will become difficult to communicate. Why? Because there are a lot of satellites. When there are a lot of satellites, what will be there? Definitely once a satellite, you know, will hit the another satellite, it will create a lot of debris and the number of the debris will keep on increasing. So don't you think that satellite communication will become very tough? Answer is absolutely yes. So here the issue arises that is related to space debris. If the space debris will increase. Clear? Next. Hindrance of bad weather. Now what do you mean by hindrance of bad weather? Where the satellites are placed? Satellites are placed in the LE. So don't you think that the weather condition will have an impact on how the satellite internet signals will travel? Definitely, right? Because you are placing the satellite in LEO, so definitely weather will have the impact on the satellite communication. Storms, rain, even the strong winds, what they will do, they will disturb the signal. As a result, you will receive weak signal. Or you can say, unfortunately, what will happen? The signal quality will decrease 
or the signal which is entering into the earth that will be disrupted right so weather will also impact the signal quality so this point these points you can write in your body now coming towards the end ending part of this question that is conclusion so now what type of conclusion you can frame just think about since you are writing what you are writing a upsc answer right so what type of you can say what type of conclusion you can expect from such type of questions so you can clearly say you know because your conclusion should be what it should be optimistic it should not be pessimistic it should be optimistic it should be futuristic one so you can clearly say that the starlink is a project definitely which is a revolution right starlink is what it is a revolution because it is providing us what satellite based internet so starlink is what starlink is a revolution revolutionary project which will provide satellite based internet to the world and definitely we are the lit, uh, latency rate is low and this is going to bridge what this is going to bridge the digital inequality in the country right so this is how you can write your answer so this is just you can see a sample question which i have picked more such type of questions we will discuss through this course a week so with this i will end the video see you in the classes bye take care